Hi there, this is Teresa. Welcome back to the channel. We are going to do a collective reading. This is gonna be the person that you're thinking about. Is this love, is this lust, or is this a lost cause with this person? Are you wasting your time? We're gonna find out. So keep in mind it is a general collective. Only take what resonates with the rest. If you want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround time. So the person the collective is thinking about, is this love, is this lust, or is this loss? Let's see what your person's energy is. The person in your heart, the person in your mind, what is their energy at this time? Ooh, okay, we got Ice King coming up first. Boss, entrepreneur, detached. We also have past life, knowing, past love, deja vu. Communication, texting, phone calls, online and mature older male. So this is somebody who is older than you. It's also somebody who is very cold and detached. You potentially um, feel there is an age difference between the two of you. What is the collective's energy when it comes to this person? They're wondering if it's love, lust, or loss. What is the collective's energy? Brunette, okay, so you could feel very intense and focused on this person. Triangle, crowded in choices. You could feel like this person is keeping you in a third party, has other people. Twin flame, okay. So you may wonder if this is a spiritual connection. You may wonder because the intensity is so strong with you and this person, is this a karmic or is this actually a twin flame? One more card for the collective. Mature, connector, socialite, high society. Okay, so... There could be a lot of gossip between people around the two of you. There is a significant age difference between you and this person. So your person is very detached. They're not emotionally attached right now. So I wanna see how this person feels about you because they are so detached. Maybe you do talk to this person quite often. Maybe this is an online connection that you're wondering about. So we're gonna find out. First, how does the collective's person feel about them? How do they feel about them? the chariot, the strength, and the nine of wands. Okay, your person feels that there is some distance here. And part of the truth that they like about you is you are somebody who is very strong. You're very courageous, you're very attractive, but they also see you as somebody who's very vulnerable. So you may have put a lot of personal stuff out there to this person already, especially if it's a newer connection. They do see that as an advantage to them. So now let's see how you feel about this person collective. How do you feel? How's the collective feel about this person? Five of swords, two of wands, and the queen of pentacles. You feel like you have to compete for this person for some reason, especially if this is online. Maybe you see this person still has online people they're talking to. Yeah, we've got the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck. You could also feel that maybe this is a karmic connection. There's something about this person because they're cold and detached, it really triggers you. It triggers you a lot and you feel like this person does live at a distance, but you feel like they should give you more security up to this point and not make you work so hard to get their attention. What is your person's intentions? Are they wanting love, lust, or are they losing this connection here? What is the collective's person's intentions? Three of wands, nine of swords, and the page of wands. Right now, this person knows the truth is that they're a little bit helpless in the situation. They feel like heavy physical distance is a problem here. And your person knows that that is kind of their saving grace. This person could also be married. So just be aware because your person is keeping their distance. They are keeping their boundaries somewhat. The justice, they could be legally in another relationship with somebody else. Their intentions is to just keep communicating with you from a distance, not trying to be with you in person. So that could be why partially they come across close and detached. What is your intentions with this person? The, not, uh, the Ten of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Justice. You want the truth is that you are at a point now where you're ready to have this person acknowledge you or maybe even come towards you with some type of success. You want this person to do the right thing and openly communicate what their expectations are. If they live at a distance, you may want this person to actually come travel and see you, but you want the truth and you want it to be fair. 
So let's see what the likely outcome is going to be between you and your person because you're clearly on different pages at this point. Seven of Pentacles, the lovers, the Ten of Cups, <laughs> the Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. And we've got Judgment at the bottom of the deck. I wasn't expecting this for an outcome. Okay, so it looks like you're both going to continue to invest in this connection. You both want each other. Even though your person is cold and detached and keeping you at an arm's length right now, it does look like they are going to potentially warm up to the idea that they do want to invest more in this connection. They are thinking long and hard in their head about how much they should properly invest in the connection. And that's because they do feel that there is some type of magnetic pull towards you. There is something they're very attracted to you physically. But also this person could be married. So just be prepared that your person needs to be honest. There's something about the justice and the eight of swords here. So just be prepared that your person wants happiness, but they may not want happiness with the person they're currently with. They may want this happiness with you. Now, if you know your person's not married, don't take it if it doesn't resonate. But your person is definitely in an energy of realizing that they maybe haven't given enough in this initial connection that they may want to balance that out and give you more. And they're caught up in their head trying to figure out how they're going to do that. So it does look like the decision is in that this person does want to love you. There is a decision that they're wanting to invest in this in the hopes that the two of you can have an ultimate happiness together. Your channeled song is Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. You'll be dealing with a Gemini. I got Libra out here, Taurus, Cancer. Let's get an angel number. 247. 247 is your angel number collective. Okay, I do want to thank you for watching this video. If you could please like and comment, I would appreciate it. If you do want your own personalized in-depth reading, my website is timelessdivinetarot.com. I do have a 24 to 48 hour turnaround. Have a great day. Bye.